going on guys? So just want to show you how to bench press. This is like all the mistakes I've made throughout the years. If you if you notice guys, I have a you know fairly small chest but big triceps. That's from years of doing it wrong. I just want to show you real quick. I want to demonstrate it then just walk you right through. I don't want to talk too much. I want to show you guys. Alright, so first thing that you want to do guys is make sure my heels are really grounded on the floor, shoulder width, shrug up, pin my shoulder blades to the bench, it takes about my shoulders at the movement. Now, I want to look at the bar straight on. The next thing I want to do is I want to grab a shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. I just want to make sure my wrists are straight with my elbows and the floor. I don't want my wrist this way, I don't want my wrist that way. It's going to put a lot of pressure on my wrist. I don't want that. Then I just grab the bar. Remember, keep make sure those shoulder blades are pinned. Grab the bar. Slowly go down, squeezing the bar. Make believe you're squeezing your humerus together. That's where, how you're gonna get all your tension off your triceps. So squeeze up, down, up, down, like that. Something I was doing for a long time, guys, is putting a lot of pressure, like I said, on my triceps. The reason why that was happening was because I wasn't worrying about my humors squeezing it together. If you don't do that, you're not going to get the maximum contraction. You sit down right now. You pin your shoulders down and you just go up, up, up. Your, shoulder, your chest is not going to contract as much as if you picture yourself bringing your humors this way. So if you go like that and picture it, you'll get a much better contraction. That's something I haven't been doing. One of the reasons why my chest has been lacking for a long time. Another thing, another thing you want to do, guys, is make sure you take out your shoulders. Another thing is a lot of guys will have big shoulders is the fact that their shoulders is doing all the work. So you want to um, retract your scapula. That's how you do it, guys. You shrug up, you put it down, like that. Like somebody has two pencils in it, you just want to squeeze it in. So squeeze it in. Now it's from the back. Alright, so shrug up, put it down. That, that little arch is going to put your, you know, your traps right on the bench with your heels, and then you're right there, ready to bench. Another thing is, what's another thing, guys? I'm forgetting something. Uh, just make sure you're, you know, from the side of you, I'll show your side of you real quick. Just make sure your, you know, your, your elbows and wrists are perfectly aligned. That way you're, you know, you're, you're not putting any pressure on your wrist. And I know I'm forgetting something, but I can't remember right now. I knew I was forgetting something, guys. Remember to keep your elbows not up here, not flared up here. You want it right here, 45 degrees. That way your shoulders, again, are out of it. And all you're doing is bringing it down to your nipples. As far as locking out, a lot of people like locking out like this. Or they like just going, keeping constant, constant tension and going right here. Something you want to do, guys, is go for the full range. I don't lock out, but I like to go up here where I feel the most tension. Slightly locked out. Just slightly. This is this will be locked out. This is where I'm at. And I like to extend all the way. All the way down. Get that nice full stretch. And all the way up right here. That's what I like to do. Let me just show you how, to, how an actual set looks like. Another thing you want to also do, guys, is don't focus on just putting it up and down. Focus also on, you know, using your chest muscles to do the work, not just momentum. So I'm going to add some 25s and do an actual set to show you guys how it actually should look like. I'm going to try to go for 40 seconds. For those of you that, that don't know, scientifically proven that 40 to 70 seconds is the reasons why, why muscles grow. Scientifically proven. Time under tension. So let me just add this for you guys. And I'm gonna go for about five seconds each rep, eight reps. Focusing on the negatives. The negatives is where you're gonna break down you know, your muscles. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna go for. Again, you know, feet nice and grounded. I shrugged up. Now I gotta grab the bar, you know, where my wrist is nice and straight. No pressure on my wrist, all chest, and lift. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, 
three, four, up, oh, that's three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up, oh, four, one, I'm losing count, whatever. That's how a set should look like. Time of the tension, really working the muscles, really working those pectorials. Hopefully I didn't miss anything guys. Hopefully you liked the video, share it. And hopefully that was pretty good. All right, so a lot of these uh, tips I got from a lot of popular channels, you know, like Chris Jones, Ben Pukowski, Omar Isov, uh, Matt Ogus. You know, channels like that, I learned a lot of different things, different techniques from them, and I just put it all in one video for you guys. You know, I'm just like you guys. I, you know, I go on YouTube and I try to search the best possible way, you know, to build muscle. I just want to share, you know, everything in one video with you guys, things that I've learned and mistakes that I've done. But anyways, guys, for those of you that are looking for, you know, a meal plan to get in shape, whether it's bulking or you are cutting, losing some body fat, or a workout routine, just email me at easyxangeles at yahoo.com. Please, guys, business only. Any questions, just leave it in the comment below or the most recent, uh, recent video, and I'll get to you guys. Later.